Hi guys, Sean from Optics. So we decided to actually push out another Night Force video and this is on the Night Force Attacker 7 to 35 by 56. After thinking actually we hadn't done a Night Force video ever before, I thought because of the resurgence of the brand and the release of the NX8 and the much loved 7 to 35 Attacker, I thought it was definitely worth doing a couple of videos and actually trying to tell you guys why Night Falls potentially is the scope for you. So just to start off with, we've got a nice chunky 34 mil tube, it gives you 100 MOA of internal adjustment, so that's a massive amount of internal adjustment. We've got a versatile 7 to 35 times mag. We are seeing a massive amount of shooters in the States using these. In 2018, uh, the Precision Rifle blog, which is an excellent website to go and look at and get some information on, see what the pros are using. He actually seen, well, basically the Night Force uh, 7 to 35 take the reins as being the most used scope over in the States in professional competitions. Previously, the Vortex held sort of the crown and that now, and Schmidt and Bender again held the crown a few years before that, and that has now been passed over to the Night Force. And I really think that is literally just because they got this scope completely on the money. So just to run over a few of the features, like I said, 100 MOA of internal adjustment, which is perfect for those guys using it for PRL. It's got a very versatile mag, so it's seven to 35. So referring back to say, uh, English shooters, you could use a scope for not only going out foxing, and uh, varmint shooting, you could then uh, use it on your long range platform. So it's good out to any range, depending on what caliber you wanna pull it on. And as we move on from that, we've got the trusted zero stop system. We've got uh, multiple turns on the elevation drum, giving you that 100 MOA of adjustment. We've got six reticule choices. So we've got one MOA based reticule choice, and that's the MOAR, and that's paired with a 0.25 MOA click and then in the other five choices they're all paired with a 0.1 mil rad click and you've got three reticules from Night Force which are the mil R, the mil XT and the mil C and then for the guys who really want to get the most out of their reticules you have the Horus options available. As standard you get nice sunshades, you get the Tenebrax covers so providing the eyepiece and the optic uh, objective glass with plenty of protection and you've also got a well you, you've still got the old-fashioned night force way of doing the eyepiece where you've got the whole eyepiece that turns a little bit old-fashioned and a lot of scopes and different scope companies now are going to the fast focus ocular system but night force is stuck with what they know the whole eyepiece turns and you've got the locking ring just to lock it into the place there so in this attacker series, you've got the 7 to 35. This one here is the first focal plane. They also do a second focal plane version, slightly cheaper. And within the attackers, you've also got 4 to 16 by 50, 4 to 16 by 42. And you've got two options in the 5 to 25, a first and a second focal plane option. Again, with multiple rep choices. So this sort of runs over the attacker, probably the pinnacle in their sort of series. You've got the beast above it, but to be honest, this is far outsold the beast in numbers and I can see why it's highly it's highly um, accepted as being probably one of the best scopes in the world. So if you want any further information, we do have these in stock. So give us a call, drop us an email. Remember, subscribe to the channel and give us a like. Cheers, guys.